How's it going Instacart shoppers? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to do Costco RX orders or pharmacy orders, whatever you wanna call them. These orders work a little bit different and if you guys are used to just shopping at HEB or whatever your grocery store is all day, it might be a little confusing whenever you have this order for the first time. So that's why I wanna make this video because I recently got to do one and um, I was able to kind of figure out how they work and I'm gonna pass that knowledge on to you guys. So I'm gonna try and show you a few screenshots here of what it looks like without giving away any information. So it might look a little weird, but I just had to like blur everything. But we're gonna be talking about that a little later into the video, skip to this timestamp if you're only here for that. If you guys would like to stick along, I'm gonna be shopping at Costco here. We're about to hit the drop and um, we're just gonna vlog a little bit of our day and then talk about these pharmacy orders at Costco. So last week we made just around $900, which is pretty good for the circumstances. Instacart has been kind of crazy lately and um, yesterday I had a absolutely insane order Not sure how well you guys could see that but it was a hundred and thirty three dollar order And um, for some reason I got it and the store was 30 minutes away So I'm not even in that county. I have a friend that is and he saw no batches I somehow got the batch drove all the way over there before it got canceled on me and um, it had peak pay so that doesn't make any sense because people aren't just passing up on $130 orders. So that was pretty sweet. Definitely the biggest order I've ever done or seen. So that was pretty awesome. I don't expect to see one of those again for a while, but you never know. Over here, like big orders are mostly like 40 to 60. It's pretty rare that you see those orders. We do have this lovely 50 item dollar store order for $11, 73 units. All right, I'm gonna concentrate, make sure I hit the Costco batch. I'm in my special spot here at this Costco. Hopefully you guys don't shop at this Costco, otherwise I might be giving away some secrets. But yeah, I'll tell you guys what I end up getting. Hopefully it's something pretty decent to start my day off because lately it's been slow. All right, so we ended up having a $40 order this morning. I forgot to record anything on it, but uh, it was pretty good. It was only like 10 miles, I think. It was 14 miles, sorry. You guys might be able to see, that's what I got this morning. And uh, it wasn't too bad. It, one of the customers was actually delivering to basically like a theme park over here. It was a, it's a cave that has like rides and stuff. And um, it's pretty cool. If you guys live around San Antonio, you guys probably know where I'm talking about. It was one of those deliveries that are actually pretty fun because you guys get to go somewhere scenic and uh, see a few things and it's pretty cool. All right, so anyways, let's talk about these pharmacy orders at Costco, and you're probably gonna see me refreshing, and it's because I'm still on the clock, even though it, I'm working for myself, but you guys know, I'm just trying to get those Costco batches while I'm sitting in the lot. Whenever you guys pick up a pharmacy order, you guys should see something like this. This is how you guys know it is a pharmacy order, plus they probably have normal items as well. Sometimes they're literally just gonna be pharmacy, but most of the time they have a few groceries and their prescription. So basically Instacart has you do all the shopping first and then whenever you finish, you just click done and review and then it sends you to this next page that you should see here. And uh, like I said, I had to blur a lot of stuff out here. But basically after you get all the other items, you go to the pharmacy and you show them this code. So once they get the code, they're able to get your prescriptions. And if you guys have multiple prescriptions, you guys will have to scan them as well. Just like you're picking up an item, you guys have to scan them. And usually they have them all packaged inside one little bag with all the barcodes on the top. The people at the pharmacy deal with us Instacart shoppers all the time, so they know how to explain it and how to do it. So if you guys have questions, don't be afraid to ask them. So just a quick recap, you go there, you show them the barcode at the very top, then they bring you the prescriptions and you scan every single item that was prescribed to the customer. Then after that, you just check out with the prescription, they give you a little receipt, and then you go check out again with all the other items. Then from there, it's basically like an alcohol order where whenever you deliver it to the customer, you have to scan their ID and make sure it's them because pills can be very dangerous in the wrong hands, so you guys wanna make sure that people just aren't picking these things up off the side of the street. It's very important that the customer gets handed the prescription. There was one more step after you scanned their ID, and I think it was basically just like another confirmation of you delivering it to the actual person it was for. Other than that, they actually aren't too bad. The only thing that's a little weird is if you guys have frozen stuff, like usual, 
you guys have to get all the frozen stuff first and then go to the pharmacy and pick it up. So if you guys really wanna be nice to your customer, what I would do is scan everything in and then just go replace your ice cream after the prescription if you guys had to stand in a line. But other than that, that is how it's done. Hopefully that made sense and might make you a little bit more comfortable to do a pharmacy order. I remember in the past, I was always like, I would just cancel an order if I accidentally swiped one with it. But uh, I finally tried it out just so I, I knew how to do it and it wasn't bad. So that is the pharmacy stuff. That is our main topic for this video. Now it is time to have some fun and sit here waiting for a batch. Who knows how long it's gonna take. But it is a Monday, which is a good sign because that's when we, we make some money usually. I'll get back to you guys whenever I actually get an order. Probably gonna eat some food and um, hope for the best here. It's good news, we got a $62 order and um, it was really weird. I got like three Costco orders all at once, like as if the app didn't know I was like here. So I sat there for like 15 minutes, saw nothing, and then three Costco orders. It was like another Costco drop at 12. This is like uh, 30 items. There is a lot of water, but uh, only five this time, not like 20. I've done that before. So yeah, we're gonna go do this. Uh, I'll be back and then load it up, hopefully with you guys this time. And uh, wish me luck, hopefully everything's in stock. All right, everything but one item was in stock, so that's pretty good. And one of the customers added a bunch of stuff. So this is probably going up. This was a weird item. The customer requested, they didn't have the original item, so I got their requested replacement and then they requested for this instead. A lot of back and forth. All right, so customer A was a little weird because they had me replace the waters. They would just leave me on red all the time, but use the app to approve or deny things. Um, but they didn't have to deny anything because everything that I did was like their requested replacement, supposedly, because we all know Instacart might be uh, lying to us on those. They might just be showing you a recommended, but saying that the customer actually requested it when they didn't. It's really hard to tell, and I don't want to awkwardly like ask my customer so this was a, a no contact delivery. She even reminded me in the notes. It's always a little weird when a customer doesn't want to like talk to you whatsoever and then they don't want to see you at all. Kind of like if they're tip baiting, they don't want to see who they're hurting. So hopefully we're not getting tip baited here. Um, they did add a bunch of items like I was saying while I was shopping. So I was basically just ping ponging around the entire Costco store. I don't know if that's a saying, but maybe it is today. I am running out of my uh, sticky notes, which is a bummer because I like to leave thank yous for my customers and uh, won't be able to do that today. I think that order took me about 40 minutes to shop just because I had to go back and forth a ton for that order, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We still are getting like probably a $65 order out of this, maybe even more. Wish us luck. We're going to drop this off and then we'll be a little over 100 already for two orders. All right, so the first drop off went fine. It was the no contact person. Then the second drop off was a little weird. Um, I couldn't really get a hold of anyone until like the last minute. And then I, I got a hold of them, got some instructions for delivering because it was a business, but I didn't fully understand their instructions and um, I couldn't get in contact with them again. So I just dropped it off inside the office. I didn't see anyone, but I took pictures of all the addresses and everything and texted them where I left it. So hopefully that works out. Delivering to businesses is probably the most stressful thing Instacart shoppers do because it's not like we're FedEx and used to dropping groceries off somewhere or packages. So we don't know where to drop things off every time. It's just a, a new company to us where if you're doing FedEx or Amazon, you kind of get used to these companies. You know how and where to put the packages. So I'll have to take a look and see how much the first order went up by with all those added items. This is a very dangerous intersection, holy cow. 
That should not exist. Ooh, a five and below order. Let's not take that. Another reason why that business drop off was weird was because the person that was supposed to be staying in contact with me wasn't the person that they threw in their notes. And then when I dropped it off, there was like this basically one way mirror where I could faintly tell that there's a secretary on the other side, but uh, she wouldn't open it to say hi or ask what I'm doing there. So I just dropped it all off there and it was just really awkward. I just feel like if you're running a business and you have like a secretary, part of their job is to figure out what's going on. I don't know how long that's been green. But yeah, part of their job should be trying to figure out, all right, who's coming in the office and how can I help them? But uh, hey, we made some money. So the business tipped me $7 and that was the heavy order. And then the other person that wasn't responding to me, um, she still tipped me really well. She tipped me $40. And since she added items, it went up to a $68 order. All right guys, it has been a very long day. I'm tired and I was editing my video and I realized that the audio was completely trash while I was driving. So I need to get better about not recording while driving. I need to just like stick to parking lots because the road noise is just obnoxious. So until I get a better camera set up or a better mic to go with my GoPro, we're gonna probably be trying to stay still while we record. Anyways, we ended up making about $173. That includes a $5 cash tip from one of my last customers. We ended up averaging around $23 per hour, which is pretty good. Not the best I've done, but just about average. Pretty happy with how today went. Within the first three hours of today, we made $110, and then it took us four and a half hours to make another like $63. The last half of the day wasn't as good. I took three like $20 orders, and every single one of them ended up having some sort of problem that slowed me down. My last order, I ended up having to drive an extra eight miles because of construction, and the exit to this lady's place was just non-existent, and she didn't feel the need to tell me. So I ended up having to drive way past her exit, no turnarounds for like four miles. Anyways, we're back home now, editing this video, trying to get it out as soon as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap that like button down below. Consider subscribing, we're really close to a thousand subs, which means we're really close to making some money on this YouTube channel to help combat these awful Instacart updates that are making us lose money. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good day tomorrow, and I'll see you guys on the next one.